People converting from cars to motorcycles sometimes find themselves overwhelmed with the additional controls, like suddenly having a front and rear brake. The first technique you should be comfortable with is using both brakes simultaneously for emergency situations because you're gonna need it to keep from smashing into some cager that cuts you off. More importantly, good emergency braking will save you from embarrassing low speed crashes that are super avoidable. Outside of that situation, you could get away with exclusively using the front brake if you wanted to because that has most of the stopping power. Keith Code, motorcycle racing pioneer and absolute Chad, talks about how when he's riding on the track, he doesn't touch the rear brake at all. The lower powered rear brake is useful for finesse in specific situations. Like when you're wheeling, you use the rear brake to save you from looping. I mean, I don't, I fucking suck, so. It's also nice when you don't wanna use your hands to brake, like when you're following some slow ass car down a hill or chilling out relaxing at a stoplight and wanna keep the bike from rolling. Ultimately, which brake is used in any given situation is far less important than the way it's used.